Hello and welcome to this new video about how I write 10,000 words per day with ease. In this video we're going to talk about my 5 rules to writing more without stressing yourself. My name is Sinem Günel, I'm a digital entrepreneur, a top medium writer and a writing coach. I'm making five figures per month on medium.com through my articles and I'm teaching new writers to achieve similar results. However, when I work with new writers, what I often realize is that they struggle to get their words on the paper or on their screen and I know exactly how that feels. When I first started my writing career, I struggled to write. So I, I had a problem and I sat down and wanted to write. I didn't know how to get into that flow. I ended up wasting endless hours staring at my screen, not knowing what to write, how to write and actually how to get started. But over the last few years, I managed to develop a writing routine that allows me to type an average of five to 10,000 words per day with ease. So on most of my days, I'm not even aware of how much I write. So these are the most productive days, to be honest, when, I, when I'm in the flow and I don't even feel like checking on in my productivity. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the five rules that I've created for myself that actually helped me to write five to 10,000 words with ease, even if I'm not aware of it. The first rule is to decide when and where you want to get your writing done. And I know this sounds simple, but it's so, so important. For me personally, mornings and late evenings are my most productive writing time. This doesn't mean that I'm not productive in the afternoon, for example, but in the afternoon, I just focus on other tasks because writing is like much more difficult for me in the afternoon because I have a lot of things in my head, a lot of things coming up. People might call me, people might message me, but in the morning and in the evening, I have more space and mental clarity. So that's the time I use for my writing. And I have worked with so many writers in the past years. I know that a lot of people prefer the early morning for their writing, especially people with families, with kids, people with lots of other responsibilities who write as a hobby or who write as a side hustle. They try to get up earlier in the morning to get their writing done first thing in the morning so that nothing can really disturb their routine throughout the day. Because if you try to get your writing done in the evening or in the afternoon, a lot of other f things might come up and um, just make you busier and hold you back from doing the actual writing. And the second thing is where you write. And that's also important, especially if you're working from home, you might want to have a separate place for your writing. Now, I don't follow that rule myself strictly because I live in a small apartment. I have a home office where I do all my work. So I have one desk where I get all my work done. But if you are like, let's say you have a full time job and you're getting your full time job uh, done from home and you have a separate desk for that, you might want to separate your employment job from your side hustle, from your writing and want to get your writing done on the kitchen table, for example. So ask yourself whether there's a place in your home that you want to dedicate to your writing so that you really feel comfortable there, you feel creative there, um, and of course also productive. Sometimes I do write from other places like co-working spaces or when I travel, I obviously need to write from other places. But when I'm at home, I know that my desk is my writing place and I have everything set up for me to be as writing po productive as possible. And I highly encourage you to set up these two rules for yourself. When do you want to get your writing done? And where do you want to write? Especially if you have a crowded home, if you are getting lots of stuff done from home, um, ask yourself if you can dedicate a small corner of your bedroom, of your living room, whatever, 
to your writing so that this is really your your special writing place and whenever you sit down there you are immediately in the mood for writing because you get so used to that space my second rule is to come up with a minimum goal that you want to achieve per day and this is important to stay motivated to stay inspired and to be accountable for your actual goal when you watch this video and you struggle to get your writing done and you you, you see me talking about 10,000 words per day don't try to immediately adapt this routine as well like it will be really hard to start writing five or ten thousand words per day if you have never done it before or if you're a total beginner and just about to start your writing career what you should do instead is to come up with a minimum goal that makes sense for you that might be 500 words, that might be a thousand words, whatever feels comfortable and doable for you. So depending on how much time you have, depending on how many other responsibilities you have, come up with a minimum goal that you really want to achieve every single day. Maybe you just have 15 minutes per day to dedicate to your writing. That's totally fine like we all start small and once once your writing pays off and once your writing actually makes money you can probably increase that amount of time and um, your minimum goal can be a word count just like my word count of 10,000 words or it can also be a time spent so if you say you want to dedicate at least 15 minutes or 50 minutes or 30 minutes whatever it is for you set up that rule write it down and really create a routine that helps you to stick to, to that minimum goal that fits your overall lifestyle best and after a few months you can adapt to that goal you can increase the amount of words you can increase the time you, you spend writing but what's important is to have that minimum and to really stay accountable to make sure you hit that minimum number every single day and if you miss it once or twice, it's not going to hurt you. But overall, of course, you want to make sure that you stick to it on as many days as possible because you know that this is what actually brings you closer to achieving your goals as a writer. Rule number three, don't switch tasks. If you are writing, just write and don't do anything else. So many people try to do different things simultaneously and end up not getting anything done at all. And that's especially dangerous if you're trying to write. Because writing is a creative task, but it's also a task where you really need to be effective in order to be quick. When I write, the only thing I do is writing. I close all other tabs, I mute my phone, I, I close all notifications. I don't allow anyone to disturb me during that process and that's exactly what you should do too. So when you're writing, really focus on getting the words out of your head on your screen. So don't allow anyone or anything to disturb you during that process. Um, in the best case, you don't even do the research for images or for, for numbers, for statistics, etc. during the writing time. Instead, prepare everything you need for that article in advance or write down everything that you need for the article and at the end of the writing session, if you realize that you need some uh, resources, you need some data, etc., at the end of the writing session, go back and do your research, get your numbers, get the statistics that you need, etc. But in the writing process itself, try to focus on getting the words out of your mind. So don't switch tasks. Multitasking doesn't exist anyway. Stay as focused on the writing itself as possible. Rule number four is creating a proper idea management system. This is especially important if you are writing on a platform like medium.com. 
Um, it's less important if you're writing for freelance uh, clients, for example. So if, if clients tell you what to write, uh, you might not need an idea management system, but if you are choosing what to write about, then this is really important. And I believe that this is actually one of the main reasons why I managed to become so successful on Medium, because I never run out of great ideas. A lot of people have ideas, but the majority of those ideas don't work on every platform and they don't work on Medium, for example. I manage all my ideas in a tool called Trello. Trello is a really simple project management tool and I put all my ideas on a board on Trello and I have hundreds of headline ideas in this Trello board. So whenever I want to start writing uh, a new article, all I need to do is open my board and choose one of the ideas that I have put into that board um, in the past weeks or months. So I have hundreds of ideas that I've been collecting there over the past years. So I will never run out of great ideas. And for me, this is really encouraging because I know that no matter if, if I feel creative or productive, I will at least be able to choose a great idea because I have so many of them in this Trello board. And I highly encourage you to create your own idea management system so that you can really store all these ideas at one place and use them when you actually need them in your writing journey. Last but not least, the fifth rule is let go of perfectionism. I don't even believe in perfect writing. I believe that everyone has a different taste, everyone has a different style and what I consider to be a great article might be a bad article for you. But what's important is to keep going, keep writing and keep improving your craft. So especially if you are a new writer, don't get paralyzed by the belief that your article or your book needs to be perfect. Instead, get it out there, get feedback from real readers, get feedback from fellow writers, from experts. Um, and keep in mind that if you don't finish your work, if you don't finish an article, nobody will be able to see it and you will not be able to gather valuable feedback. And for me, this was the most important rule in order to really increase the words that I get out there. I know, or even now, now, I know that if I write an article in 2021, I might disagree with my own statements in five years from now. And that might also be true for you. And that's totally fine because you're a human being, you're a human growing and you will change. Your opinions might change. But this shouldn't hold you back from putting your stuff out there and doing the best that you can do right now. And I really believe that doing the best you can until you know better is the key to growing as a writer. And not only growing your writing, but also growing your writing income. Because nobody will pay you for articles that sit in your draft folders or in your mind. People will only pay you as a writer if you get the stuff out there. And that's true for readers on platforms like Medium, but that's also true for um, paying clients and customers who look for freelance writers. These have been my five tips for writing thousands of words every single day with ease. I hope you loved this video. Let me know which of these points was the most valuable for you in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos about how to build a successful writing business.